Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here. You know, I get this question often enough that I decided to create a short video. So what if someone has a mushroom allergy? Does this automatically disqualify them from ever consuming Ganoderma mushrooms or really any other type of mushroom? So keep in mind, there are over 10,000 different mushrooms out there and every one of them has a different protein content. Uh, and therefore, uh, allergic to one does not mean allergic to all. So maybe some people are more familiar with something like a milk allergy. Someone will say, well, I'm allergic to milk. And I'll ask them, you know, are you allergic to goat's milk, cow milk, sheep milk, human milk, camel milk? hamster milk, killer whale milk, which milk are you allergic to? Uh, and then they usually say cow milk. And I say, okay, fine. You know, does that translate then to human milk or goat milk? And the answer is no. Well, it's the same thing with mushrooms. Then when you start looking at Ganoderma, you know, coming up on 2000 peer reviewed medical studies, 4,000 years of human use, uh, here's what we know. Ganoderma is an immunomodulator. Now, on top of being anti-aging and anti-neurodegeneration. So as an immunomodulator, it means that it creates balance within the immune system. Over 232 studies on Ganoderma in the immune system, but what does it mean to create balance? Well, sometimes we have too much reaction. And if it's too much reaction to foreign particles, that's an allergy. Too much reaction to things within our body, that's autoimmunity. Too little defense against things from the outside, that causes infection too little reaction to things on the inside, that can cause cancer. And by the way, it's considered normal for people to get cancer cells, many of them every single day. So we wanna keep that immune system balanced. We wanna keep it working ideally. Ganoderma does that well. 430 unique molecules in Ganoderma, 79 of which are antimicrobial. Therefore, it's probably pretty good for whatever is distressing your immune system and remember one and one is greater than two. So imagine 430, what kind of combinations can you make of that? 79 antimicrobials, what kind of combinations can you make with that? Well, I promise you some really, really good ones. And as I like to wrap up, I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy and successful. And by the way, if you have a mushroom allergy, go slow. And I bet you're gonna find out that these mushrooms are really really good for you.